What is happening on Passive World? What in the freaking world is happening? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Why am I so excited? Oh, that's right. I had a nap today. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. A nap does wonders. You must take a nap all the time. Well, I'll let you know in about an hour if it worked. All right. Now, let's talk to you, Rob Lynn. Live, I'm going to say it again. Lynn Nakamoto, do you, Rob Lynn, live? Yes, of course. Are you sure of that? Every night. Ollie boy, do you Rob Lynn live? I know he does. Woof, woof, I do. <coughs> All right, that makes uh, two out of uh, 1,497,000. <laughs> so we're gaining on it, kids. We're gaining on it. All right, welcome, 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 welcome to another edition of Rob Lynn Live Network. And Ollie Boy, the Wonder Dog. True, true, and truer. True, true, and true. S. All right, all right, all right. It looks like we're on YouTube tonight. We're on X tonight. We're on Facebook tonight. We're on O Connect tonight. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Not too shabby. If I don't say so myself, welcome to day 632. I said last night it was 632 because I didn't have my notes with me. But tonight we have a correction. Last night was 631. I'm surprised John Barilla, John Barilla didn't correct me on that. But uh, thank you for letting that one slide, John. Last night was a grand Q&A. Absolutely stunning. The questions good. from our panelists were excellent. They are delving deep, deep in the annals of on passive history to come up with some of these questions. And they were tough. They were rough. But most of you, many of you, got the correct answers. You know what? That's where the value is in Rob Lynn Live, right there. That's where you're getting value. You're learning a tidbit here, a tidbit there, here a tidbit, there a tidbit, everywhere a tidbit. So that's not too Shabby. All right, let's talk domains. Let's talk Lynn Nakamoto's domain briefly. Go to RobLynLive.com. Now, what happens when you go to RobLynLive.com? Up pops up the registration page. You can register for your free three, four, the, and me products, solutions. I don't care what you call them. You can be a part of the OES. It doesn't cost a nickel, it doesn't cost a dime, a penny, a red cent, a dollar, a half a dollar, a peso, a shekel, a sing, <laughs> you name it. It doesn't cost, it's free for the and me. So just do it. You'll be glad you did. You can join us on OConnex then. And guess what? Within days, it looks like they're going to open up the gates. And we'll be able to apply and get subscribed to Connect again. And hopefully, the way we're hearing it from Mr. Mafara, it will be inclusive of crypto and bank cards, if I might say so. Going to start out in the major leagues instead of being in AAA ball. We'll be in the major leagues with both, 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 both with both crypto and bank cards. What do you think of that, Lynn Nakamoto? Oh, exciting to me. Yeah. And if you were tuned in to Mr. Mafar on OP360, you heard him say it, that they've worked out all the kinks in this uh, uh, processor situation, and the money should be coming to passive any day now. Any day now. Does that mean it's going to be in your account any day? day now no so don't call me up like i got a few i got about six calls today saying well uh from what i understand we're gonna be able to get our withdrawals tomorrow i said really Ooh, that's good news i hadn't heard that so don't spread it if you don't know it if you don't know the facts don't spread the cuckoo or the caca or the poo poo don't spread it keep it to yourself just wonder and just be patient as soon as we find out that it's happening, you will know. It's coming soon enough. We've waited this long, so waiting a bit more. 
won't much matter. We're almost there. One Gatorade is not going to do it today. I can see this one coming. I do have a hot tea, no coffee. So it's going to be an interesting night tonight. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome. One and all to the Rob Lynn, Li Rob Lynn Network. Uh, that's our new branding, Rob Lynn. A presentation of Rob Lynn Live and Ali. The Wonder Dog. And he is a Wonder Dog. Uh, we're going to have to get him a new blow-up collar because the one he has that protects him, keeps him from chewing on a, upon himself, is now deflating itself. So that's a deflating situation for us because that means he's able to get at his tushy and his back and his paws and his neck. I don't know how in the world he gets it to his neck unless it's scratching with his paw. That's probably it. Well, we're going to fix that hopefully when we get a few shekels rolling in here in the next week or so maybe. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. All right. Our, oh, wait a minute. We have a topic this evening. I almost forgot to mention. We have a topic. And what is that topic? It's Great Innovations Dash 5G technology. Oh, yeah. And you thought I was a 3G guy from way back, didn't you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I've been a 4G guy, and now with the uh, advent of what on passive is doing i is a 5g boy i'm a 5g kind of guy so get ready we're going to talk a little about what uh, 5g has to offer us it on passive and really what it has to offer the entire globe it's bringing people's broadband right to them Something they haven't had in Papua New Guinea, something they haven't had in Ghana, something they haven't had like they should have had in the Philippines, something that fades in and out in Thailand, in Singapore, in Cambodia, uh, in Vietnam, and even right here, right here in St. Petersburg, Florida, we have the same issue. But you know what? The broadband is coming to get you. It's 5G all the way on its way to 8G. Now, we saw a glimpse. Oh, about a year ago, Ash showed a video of 8G, and wow, how cool is 8G? So we're at 5G now. That means we're Generation 5. We're going to be Generation 8. If you hadn't heard it, you heard it here right now, live on Rob Lynn Live at 8. All right. Man. Well. 5G technology tonight is going to be followed by community time, community time, where we bring you, the attendees, to the panel. If you want, you can put your video on, you can put your audio on, you can put them both on, you can put none of it on and just sit on the panel with, you know, shaking your tushy, whatever you want to do. But we would like you to participate. This is a participation chat. We are a variety chat, name so, so we want to continue that, and we want you to take the effort to come on the panel. We'd love to see you. Uh, we see new people every night, whether they're from India, Canada, Mexico, uh, UK, France, Spain, uh, Papua New Guinea. We don't care where you're from. We just want you to join us. Isn't that right, Miss Nakamoto? Equal access for everyone. We are an all-in kind of program and everyone is welcome okay we don't have a list where only that list can come okay we want everybody to come that's how we do things and we're an open it's book posted everywhere in the back office every day right unless i forget i post in the back office i post in the my uh facebook profile page we post in about maybe 15 facebook groups we post in roblin live facebook group and roblin live Facebook business page. We post in the OES Facebook uh, group. So, you know, there's accessible area. Oh, also, what's up? It was posted in a lot of the OES and also Robin Live uh, groups and what's up. And we also post in the major Telegram group. So, you know, you're going to find the link. If you try hard enough, you'll get it. And if for some reason you don't see it, just message me or Rob and we'll give you the link, okay? If you want to join us, just join us. Don't think about it twice. And uh, there are right now 25 people on YouTube. And how many you got here? Um, we've got uh, 37. 
62. It's a good start as our Indian and Bangladeshi friend wake up. It is quite early for them right now. It's about 6, 5.45, I think. Yeah, 5.45 a.m. in India. So tonight we're going to have a brief asleep. talk. A lot of them are still asleep, so we'll let them wake up. Kind of like me right now. Well, uh, we're going to have uh, tonight, we'll have our talk. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of value coming from uh, Robert and uh, uh, Lynn tonight uh, about 5G technology, which is a great innovation, I might say, followed by community time. A bit of signing if uh, anyone from the deaf community is here to help us with that. And a song by JJB Tin Man, John Barilla in Espanol. And in Italian, it's just plain John Barilla. And in English, John Barilla. So, John Barilla, if you're here tonight, we'd love you to sing a song. Last night was killer uh, for Carmela's birthday. We had everybody up and dancing. That was nice. I felt like I had ants in my pants. I was <laughs> dancing so much. All right. Now, 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 now. Okay, Parade let's, fresh. Let's, okay, and let's, um, I just want to say hi to the folks in the YouTube live chat. There are quite a few of you, and it's growing. I want to say thank you to our moderators who are there every day helping us. Right now, we've got Michael Chata there. I see Roy Davies helping out. Uh, anybody else? Roy Davies. At the moment, just those two. Usually, um, John Gorilla pops in, so he'll definitely be there tonight for a bit. But mostly, he stays with us on um, the webinar chat. And, and if and if you hadn't figured it out, kids, and I'm not a co-host yet. Is, John what are you saying? I see him saying Irena Stetsala. Hello. He just, I just see all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Remember one thing that you can get anything that you want at Ashmafara's restaurant. Cha cha cha. So remember that there's going to be just so much for you to pick and choose from you're not even going to know whether you're coming going or gone so stick with us tonight you're going to enjoy it we're going to talk 5g hopefully there'll be no buffering uh we don't want anybody taking any buffering or aspirin or anything uh we don't want any circles to where you're spinning but remember if that happens refresh give it one of these give it a refresh whether on your phone by Swiping up, swiping down, swiping up, or refreshing by clicking the little bitty moon at the top of your page right there on the left side. So, all that being said, please pray for Ashma Farah and his lovely wife, Ashma Han, and their two young sons, uh, Omar and Yusuf, very talented boys, I might add, for their good health and safety. And in addition, please pray for the tech, media, and support teams around the globe for their good health and safety. And also, please, pray for anyone who needs your love, your light, and your prayers around the globe, whether it's Greg Duda, Robin Noble, uh, anyone else that you might know who is not feeling well, is fighting something, uh, Anita uh, Frau and Chu, who is, is beating cancer, you know, Pray for these people, okay? And if not, do a general prayer for anyone who needs healing from on passive. What do you think of that? I, I like it. That's really good. And I just want to say, I'm noticing in the Facebook groups, we've shared, uh, we're sharing our live stream to various groups. But in the group that's currently there, I want to say hi to them and appreciate them. I see Asad. Asad, hello. I see Roy Davies, Lisa Jane McBride is there. She's very, very helpful in our Facebook post. Thank you for, for doing a lot of commenting, Lisa. Appreciate you. Uh, Assad is there actively chatting, saying hi to us. Hi, Assad. And Jose Lucio's there saying hello on Passive and O Connect. We have Irena Stixala saying hashtag. Rob Lynn Live. Oh, yeah. Get those hashtags and keywords coming. Hashtag Rob Lynn Live. Hashtag Mad Hatter 2. That's right. And Roy Davies is there saying hello to everybody. Thank you, Roy, who is also a moderator in our YouTube live chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. And did you thank Michael Chatter for the lovely emojis tonight? Thank you, Michael. I, I was telling him that, like, when I want to 
choose emojis. Like for today, I was like, which emojis represent 5G technology? So I went to chat GPT and I asked, which emojis would they suggest? And then I looked at the emojis that they suggested and I looked at Michael Chatter's sticker for today. And I'm like, oh, he used pretty much everything that chat GPT recommended. So Michael's amazing and he's not using chat GPT, but he knows his- He voice. doesn't need no stinking chat anything. He's, he's good at what he does. Yeah, thank you, Michael. All right, let's get on with it. Oh, connector, shall we talk? Let's have a little uh, talk, shall we? Uh, as we mentioned the prayers, don't forget your prayers. Uh, oh, connectors are in the midst of another extension. Oh, yeah. I know you didn't want an extension. You were ready to go. But we're in the midst of an extension that will end on the 20th or 21st of May. Woohoo, doggies. And uh, there are folks that are also in O Tracker doing their 15 day free trial. So keep after it, kids. Uh, good things are coming. Good things are here. It's going to get better by the uh, moment. Okay. This is true. Things are shaken, as they say. And uh... this is a shake and bake atmosphere, if you hadn't figured that out, in Ash Mafar's restaurant. And we are saying, you know, patience is going to pay off. We, we are in for the treats of our life, so stand by one. Sign the NDA and affiliate agreements. That's once you've migrated. Check out the Odd Passive YouTube channel if you would, please, s'il vous plaît. Check out the Odd Passive newest websites. Oh, yeah. Somebody told me it was all white, all in white with a little bit of color here and there. Very nice. And log into your OES and check out your profile. Make sure the information provided that you provided, by the way, is accurate. Check out the ticker and the back office, please. All good stuff. Check out Mohammed William Nazal on X for his blogs, videos, and comments. And continue to log into your ONET. So you can see what's going on around on passive land. More and more people are posting there, uh, whether it be a video, a comment, you name it. Whether they're doing a blog, they're doing it. So get after it. Join the crowd. Uh, hop on an O-Connect when you can. Subscribe to O-Connect whenever you can. And if you know of someone who needs your help, if you know of someone who needs your help, you know the drill. You know the drill. Helping one helps us all. Just do it. All right. Attend webinars and chats when you can. Subscribe to Connect when you can, of course. And are you ready to rumble? I ask you, I'm going to say it again. Do you, Roblin Live, are you on board with all this stuff? You better be. You better be. Because it takes preparation to get here every night and not preparation H. It takes preparation. And we're happy to do it for you and us. Because we get value out of what we do every time we repeat something that's urgent or important or part of on passive. So stand by 5G technology and you know it. Wow, 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 wow. Is also fifth generation, fifth generation uh, standard for cellular networks. Right here, right now, you've got it. We've got it. We've all got it. It's like uh, we scream for ice cream. Uh, we all scream for ice cream. We all scream for on passives, 5G technology, blowing the socks off everybody else. Absolutely stunning, everybody. All right. 5G is the fifth generation standard for cellular networks, uh, uh, deploying worldwide since 2019. So this ain't something new. This is something that's been here a while. And it will continue for a long while and is the successor to 4G. You had 3G, 
which I remember back in the old brick days, and you had 4G back in the old iPhone 7 days, and uh, Android uh, Note 7 days, and now. And now it's 5G for you and 5G for me. The key features are higher download speeds of up to, get this now, 10 gigabytes per second. Pretty spiffy, pretty squicky, pretty swift. A much greater increased bandwidth and the extended ability to connect more devices. You want to, like Armin Hope, he likes to connect three devices his iPhone 14 Pro Max, his television, his big TV where he can watch it on YouTube, and his laptop, which needs a little bit of love. So if Armin can do it and Greg Lakin can work on doing it, we can all do it to together all right so i told you about the key features which are important and we need to talk about service areas and and what happens with these service areas well they're divided into cells oh yeah cells with wireless devices connected through radio waves that's how we connect them to the internet and telephone networks via a base station and antenna that's why you see these uh, cell phone towers and stations all over the globe. That's got a part of that, a part of this, okay? And what do you get for all this? Well, you get faster speeds, lower latency, and increased bandwidth. That's what we're looking for compared to the past generations of G as in 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, yes it is, and now we're off to 5G land. All right, let's talk about some of the key points, if we may, of the cellular network technology, which you all are a part of, okay? I don't care who you are, whether you're Anita, or whether you're John Barilla, or whether you're Lynn Nakamoto, Rob Gorman, uh, Greg Hill, I don't, whoever you are. Peter Shore, I don't care who you are, stay tuned for this because it's going to be lightning fast. And that's what we like. We like being fast about our feet, on our feet. All right. Now, let's talk key points. Number one, please. Higher frequencies offering greater data transfer. Oh, yeah. And the rates are, uh, and it rates up to 600 excuse me, 60 gigabytes GBS in perfect conditions. So weather good, gigabyte good, on passive good. It's all good. And it's offering faster downloads when you need to download something, which makes things streaming nicely amid more responsive online experiences. That's what it is. We want it to be, we want it all to be more responsive, okay? That's what we're here for, all right? We're here to click and go, or go and click, or go and click so you can go. Just click. Take a breather. And while you take a breather, I'm going to tell you what we got. We got 55 in our webinar already. What a great number. Wow. And 29 in YouTube. That's uh, 84 any way you look at it. We're on our way to a 100 uh, 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 person night. That's right. And I just spotted Irena's question. She said um, she was asking about Pat, about our sister Pat Green, how she's doing. And Pat had just messaged me before the show to say that she's asking for prayers because. The arm that she broke is still painful for her. So everybody send your love, light, and prayers to our dearest Patricia Green in Kansas. She, she took a fall and uh, broke her arm. What was it, a few weeks ago, I guess? It's been about three weeks, yeah. So, you know, she, we are a family, and um, Pat asked for your prayers, all right? Thank you, everybody. All right, is everybody excited so far about 5G? And if you notice on your cell phone, your smartphone, you can see uh, it may go from 4G to 5G. But soon, 5G is going to be it. And that's what you're going to have, 5G, fifth generation. 
good stuff. All right. All right. 5G utilizes the newest technologies for applications. And we all know we like our apps, don't we? Whether it's gaming, doing our own passive work, or watching a movie. We all like the fact that our uh, bandwidth is so broad these days, okay? And what does 5G utilize? Well, other than new technologies, it utilizes things such as the ability for a car to be driven, a remote surgery, robotic surgery, and more responsive online experiences. Now, how cool is that? How cool is all of that, as a matter of fact? All right. Now, there's multiple input and multiple output, which means the beam is forming and the beam is coding and the beam is working for you and for me. Me. So, 5G networks are virtualized, if you hadn't heard, and software driven. What does that mean? Well, you got to have yourself an internet, which enables features like network slicing, going to slice that network up, slice and dice, to allocate resources based on need. And that's what it's all about, everybody. It's all about need, not greed. So, Early on, 5G deployments use 5G none stand alone more, which leverage 4G and 5G together. So if you think you're in a good place right now with on passive, you're in a stellar place with 5G technology. So if you hadn't heard. And what's coming soon? Are you ready for this one? Yeah. It's coming soon. Very, very soon. We'll be connecting vehicles and smart cities, industrial automation, par excellence, the likes we've never, ever seen before. And so what's already happening around the globe, especially with on passives help is that 5G is improving the broadband internet for everyone, not just you, not just me, and it's saving literally piles of cash because it's streamlined and you don't have to worry about drop-offs and buffering, etc. because it's so state of the art, everybody, all right? So let's all have a little cash for those who need better internet and let's all have some better networking, shall we? All compliments of you know who and you know where. You know who is 5G through on passive and you know where is right here, right now, 5G. So thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. Uh, we went up about 30 minutes, which is what we like to do. We've gone uh, longer at times, but 30 minutes is fine tonight. So if you've been paying attention, if you've been spot on with what we're talking about, you're going to have a good time tonight as we go to the community time and talk about 5G. Talk about what it means to be in 5G world, in 5G land, in 5G time zone. Okay, coming very soon. You want to be ready. You want to be ready to rumble. Yes, you do. All right, enough screaming from here. We get enough of that sometimes on the daytime shows. So uh, the nighttime shows need to be a little more subtle. So I'll back up the bus a little and we'll talk nicely. We'll talk in our lower voice. We'll talk in our 5G Rob Lynn Live Work Network voice. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to Rob Lynn Live and Ali. No wonder, dog. All right, all right, all right. So did you get your fill of uh, a little bit of uh, knowledge tonight? I believe you did. And if you didn't, you weren't paying attention. So crank it up, pay attention, let's get after this thing, and let's have some F-U-N, F-U-N, that's a word we'd love to hear. With an F, man, a U, and an N today, fun is how we do it. All right. Good. Another little ditty. Diddy do, diddy do, diddy do, do, do. So, 
Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Community you, Time. You want to say hi to the folks at YouTube? I'm finishing up my... I think that's a Dan DeRue idea. Michael Chatter, Roy Davies, and, of course, Nara Saya Arago, Aragela. Uh, good morning to you, sir. And uh, Roy Davies in the house. Sarah Pombay is in the house. Dublina Sinha is here as well. Thank you, Dublina. And David Lavelle in the house. Good to see you, David, of course. And, of course, Michael Chatta again. Not Garage again. Roy Davies again. And Minor Islam is here. Welcome, 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 sir. I mentioned Roy Davies and Irena Sexala, David Lavelle. Mm -hmm. And Nagaraj Gosavi is here. He's always first boy these days, these nights. And Irena Sexala, Nagaraj, as we mentioned. Juliana Mabambo, welcome to you as well, David Lavelle, we mentioned. And Ooh, there's Greg Hill. Hello, Greg Hill, and hello, Greggy Lakin. Greg Lakin from uh, Vermouth. Uh, no, <laughs> he, he drinks Vermouth. Oh, no, no, no idea. <laughs> from Vermont. <laughs> so, welcome, uh, Greg. Welcome, brother. All right, here we go. Let's scroll, scroll, and scroll some more and see who else. John Barilla. John Barilla is here, the Tin Man, of course. And search engine optimization is the key to success. Oh, yeah. If you hadn't heard, it truly is. All right. There's on passive and website design. And let's see who else joined us tonight, shall we? I think we shall. Yes, we shall. All right. I think that is just about everybody. I'm scrolling to make sure I don't miss anybody. All right, all right, all right, good. All right, let's go now to the uh, O Connect and uh, shall we have a count there and see how everybody's doing? Hey, got a few more. Yeah. To go through on my list here. Go ahead. And I'll go, I'll say hi to the folks in the webinar chat if you like. Yes, I would like that very much. Oh, great. Right. Um, let's scroll up maybe by 10 minutes. I'll go up to 10 minutes. Anything longer than 10 minutes ago, I won't mention. But if you want me to see what you say, just type it again. So we have Shirley Dotson in the house. Welcome, Shirley. And I see John Barilla, JJB. Tim Man is with us saying hello to everyone there. Thank you, John. Greg Hill. Our gift man, taxi man, is here tonight. Roy Davies, whoa, he was in our YouTube chat, in our Facebook live stream, and he's here in our webinar chat. The multiple device guy. Pretty darn good. It takes skill to do that. And hello, of course, to Sadananda Das, who is with us every night. Thank you, Sadananda. Hello to Jig Bodhi, and she asked for an update on Pat. And we gave the update, so I'm sure she's quite happy we, we explained that. Irena says her reception is bad today, so she's got, she's on YouTube and instead. I saw her on, I think, in Facebook as well. Thank you, Irena. Um, Roy Davies is saying, hello, Pat Green, my lovely sister. I hope you are doing good. That's nice. Very, very nice. Good stuff all the way around. And Armin Hoke is in the webinar tonight. He's saying hello to his friend. Very nice. Um, you do realize uh, today's news today is what you get here, right? Mm -hmm. All right. That is right. Um, rolling down. So that's the last 10 minutes. Oh, Mel is there. Mel saying hi to her friends as well. Hi, Mel, Mel. And hello to Sudeb Chandra, who says, boom. I like that enthusiasm. Boom. Welcome to Sudeb. Uh, Mel Mel says hi to Sudeb. That's nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see who else is here. I'm scrolling past people who I already mentioned. Oh, Cheryl Bess is here. Hi, Cheryl. Hope you're recovering from your fall. Are you doing well? Let us know, Cheryl. Don Swihart is here. And she said, 
Uh, she's saying that Don, her husband, had to get a new phone today, G8 Pro. His old one was a 3G and it was killed by Verizon. So he must be happy to have the new G8 Pro, huh, Don? What a, what a thrill to have the new tech. And hi to Kenroy Galleon. Thank you for being with us tonight. So that's the last 10 minutes of folks, which isn't bad. I could scroll up further. You want me to go scroll up further? Nah, I think that's good for, for now. Okay. All right, so now, uh, about 8.40, uh, about time for community time. What do you think, Lynn? All right, sounds good. How do we do community time? Well, for those of you who've been host, you know. If you've been a co-host, you know. But in case you haven't, all you have to do is go to the page you're on, the attendees page, and you'll see a little man with a speaker hanging out of his ear. It kind of looks like this. All you got to do is click on that bad boy. It pops up on Lynn's screen. You want to be a panelist, and she just brings you here. We'll welcome you with open arms, so, uh, only if you've used deodorant today, but we will welcome you with open arms. Silly. All right, are you guys ready to come in? I'm enabling that speaker request feature, so go ahead and request to come in, and wow, somebody's already coming in, and that is Fern LaHaye. Welcome, Fern. Next comes Onye Loni, who we call Loni. Loni in the house. All right, Loni. I Bring see it. Deborah Lang is here. She's, I'm sure she's going to be teaching science tonight. And we have next uh, Mel Mel. And here comes John JJB Tin Man. That's Jake him. Bodie is coming in. What a nice group. Don Swahert and her husband Don are coming in. Hi, everyone. DL to those of you who know him. Yes. Hi, everyone. And Greg Hill is coming in. Nice to have you, Greg. And Welcome. Elizabeth Bodes from PNG. Papua New Guinea yeah. in the house with its 5G technology, I might add. Bring it, bring it, bring it, Elizabeth. Awesome. So we do hope more of you will join us. This is the time to come on in and settle in, say hi to one another, and enjoy your time with us. Hi, Chick Bodhi. <laughs> nice to see you. Come on, we gotta have more than this. We've only got how many? One, one, two, three, four, eleven. Yeah. Today I'm going. This All is right. welcome, Greg. Glad you're here, brother. Hopefully, we'll get more. Good to see you, Greg. John Barilla's coming into focus. Ah, he's got his background. Very nice. Very nice. Anybody? Oh boy, I think I look pretty scary, Lynn. I don't know what you're seeing, but I'm seeing like one of those really bizarre, shadowy looking ghost guys. Oh boy. There's no ghost at all for us. We don't see oh. you at all. Oh, that's strange. All right. Well, I don't know if I can take looking at it. I might have to refresh though. Yeah, just refresh. <laughs> just refresh. We'd like to say a special thank you to Mr. Sifu Francis Tay, the master. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you with that super. Stick. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Francis. Appreciate it. And then what's coming up? This is Thursday. We have something on Saturday, I believe, on Saturday. What's coming up on Saturday? I hadn't heard anything. Should be OES India Saturday. And Francis can tell us more if he wants to. I'm sure he'll be here. If he's not too busy, he'll drop in tonight. All right. And in addition to that, OES uh, India, which is at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I believe at 11. I think it's at 9.30. Okay. Uh, what's coming up with the women? I guess eight of the women from around the globe will be joining. Uh... Yeah, it's going to be um, Marty and Chris's live, which is on Saturday. They're changing it up to make it um, different, I guess. So they're going to have a ladies' day. So I'm one of the eight panelists. So join us if you'd like to Saturday at the normal time of 10 a.m. Eastern. And hello to Karina Lance. Thank you for being a moderator extraordinaire. Thank you, Karina. Mm -hmm. And we want to say hi to Saido Seik. He just came in, as well as Sitaram. Coming in right now. Welcome. Appreciate you being with us, both of you. Yes, we do. We do appreciate it very much. And if you notice in the top right hand uh, corner of your background, you'll see that we have uh, Lynn has made has enlarged the red uh, rectangle. That way, both the uh, uh, blue, 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 blue on blue, 
heartache on heartache. Uh, you can see the pin. The pin is clearly evident in the red there. So that you can thank Lynn Nakamoto for that. So Hopefully we'll that. See. Let's see if it works. We'll ask people if it's working for them. Okay. We'll know when we pin and when we, they start raising where their hands, we'll be able to see if everything fits or not. All right. Well, are we ready to uh, kick this off in the Lynn Nakamoto style? So. All right, we're looking at 39, excuse me, 41 in the uh, YouTube, uh, on the YouTube channel. Let's, let's take a sneaky and peeky weeky here. 52 in the webinar. 52, that'll give you 91 oh, any way you slice that's it. That's good for so early for India. Especially. Yes, so 91 joining us tonight. And uh, we're talking 5G, we're talking new technology, we're talking the greatest innovation yeah. in the last decade. So right. bear with us. And before we move on, I'd like to say um, what Cheryl's saying right now. She's Cheryl Best. She says, thank you, Lynn. I am recovering some. My broken vertebrae in my upper back still hurt and uncomfortable. Have to see neurosurgeon. Yikes. Thank you again for asking. So we're asking for prayers for our dear Cheryl Beth as well. She's hanging in right. there, very much so. All right, thank you very much, Miss Nakamoto. And is there anybody else you want to bring into the panel? Um, not at the moment, uh, unless there, you know, people come in. All, all right, there's 14 right now, 13 with you. So. Uh, 14 with you, 13 uh, including you. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. I think we're ready to rumble now. We want to hear from all of you on the panel uh, about 5G. What has been your experience being in the 5G world? Now, in order for me to call upon you, I've got to pull up the attendee link. There it is. And uh, no one has raised their hand just yet. Okay. Not an issue. Not a problemo at all. Let's talk a little bit about ooh, the update that Red started to give today, which would have included the OP360 uh, webinar, which uh, was well attended, uh, well over 5,000, maybe 6,000, with uh, Sipu Francis Tay in attendance. All right. So are we ready to move along, little dog? Yes, uh, Rob. Right. Before anything else, Rob, um, Lynn, until Lynn, I have a request to make uh, uh, the Chris number two uh, as ordinary speaker take away the co-host. I as okay. uh, I'm right, doing. I'm doing a beta test of live streaming on my other device. Okay, you're not a co-host now. All right, thank you. Rob, back to you. All right, back to me and back to the panel. And let's see who wants to talk a little bit about 5G. Now, those of you still in the workforce have probably noticed 5G at work, AI at work, machine learning at work. Well, we'd like to hear from those of you who are still in the workforce and still might have something to say or will have something to say about that. Uh, if you can, we'd enjoy hearing from you on that. So. Without further ado, I'll do some more scrolling and find there's nobody with their hand raised. Okay. I was going to, you know, besides 5G, you had mentioned smart cities. And I don't think we're, I'm from Hawaii, right? I kind of, I don't think we were a smart city. So I was wondering if anybody here is familiar with smart cities and did you actually live in a smart city? I'm kind of curious about that. So, and what's your knowledge is about smart cities? I think, right. I think Sifu Francis Tay would have information because I'm pretty sure Singapore has smart cities. I see Mel with her hand up. Go ahead, Mel. Thank you, Lynn. Um, Sister Lynn, actually. Good night. Good evening, everybody. Good um, evening. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so I, we know 5G is already here, right? It's all over. Um, I know you talk about the smart cars. And um, it's in our shopping experience, it's already online. Like, you know, smarter shopping and look how fast, you know, you even have this, um, when you go to shop online, 
if you notice um there's like team team timu t-e-m-u timu um you have rosewe and these are the places where when you shop it, it is all 5g where they even push you push a credit card not a credit card but like an assisting um pay to you where you can pay down and pay later i think it's called after pay all right so these are all um the fast network things that is going around that's a smarter way of shopping smarter way of um doing things and also we know of the driverless cars it's already there the cars that are driving people without a chauffeur or without a driver it's already there and um even things like um the drones because of the 5g network they're all improved and um, at work, I know that 5G is there because um, all the things that we do, it is so, I wouldn't say it's seamless because we encounter problems sometimes, but it is so much faster and easier for us, you know, rather than searching and searching, it's, it's already there, it's already built into a little um, program for us. So because of 5G, it speeds up the process because it's massive. That's what I know about um, 5G. And the phone, the new phone that I have, I know it contains, it is 5G. Like almost every day I'm getting new things of, new ways of doing things on my phone. And I'm saying, wait a minute, it's going very fast. So yes, um, 5G is very speedy and it's massive. That's that's what I know so far. Thank you. So You're you welcome. feel like your experience with it is very positive? Yeah. Pretty much. It causes more us to do more, to extend more, to be creative and, you know, kind of make things seamless, although sometimes there's a bit of a hiccup, but yeah, it's faster, speedy, very speedy, actually. Do you guys have um, self-driving cars, of the autonomous cars in Canada? Lynn, you're, you're a bit choppy. Oh, do you have uh, those self-driving cars in your city where you're at? Um, not in my city, but I saw it in, in the States, actually. <clears throat> I saw it in the States and I saw even one. That guy must be rich. He, um, it's almost like a drone, but it's, a, it's shaped into a car, like a little Jim Bunz type of car. And he dropped him directly to his front door. And I'm saying, wow, he just waved and then it took off, took back off in the end, saying, look at that. You know, what if you <laughs> you speak the wrong way and then that car <laughs> dropped you somewhere? <laughs> I was thinking the same, something bad come into my mind. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, they're, they're there. Yeah, yeah, when I saw it, I said, already, yeah? Yeah, it's there. You gotta trust that, that the AI will guide you safely to where you want to go yes yeah i figure you know humans have errors too right if we're driving a car i'm sure we've all driven to the wrong destination and gotten lost though <laughs> humans aren't perfect either but i think with the uh self-driving cars it's like less likely to make errors i think in my opinion. i haven't ridden one but i will definitely want to ride one i'm not afraid i'm gonna do it and I'm gonna take a video of myself in it. <laughs> Would be fun. It's like the swoop, like the Jetsons. Like, you know, when when we used to watch, I used to watch the Jetsons. I used to say, "Wow, that's cool." They're just handing you the coffee or the tea. You know, it it is it was machine all that time. It was the machine thing, and it was teaching us of what teaching us of what is yet to come. And it didn't take long, it's already here and it's getting, it's just growing fast, I find, very fast, sometimes too fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyhow, I'll give it another So silly, this is impossible, but a lot of the things that we saw on the Jetsons cartoon are, have become reality, so. Yeah. Well, all righty, uh, if you feel like sticking that hand up, stick it up. And we'd love to hear from you on 5G. Uh, we'd like to hear a little bit about your cell phone uh, 
extravaganza today when you went for your new cell phone uh, DL. Let us hear about that a little later. And right now we're going out to Papua New Guinea and the one, the only Elizabeth Baudet. Elizabeth, can you uh, unmute? Can we hear? May we hear you? Thank you, Rob. Can you hear me? Yes. You are, madam. Pretty clear. Am I loud and clear? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. You are Lena uh, Chick. Good, <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning and greetings from Papua New Guinea. Uh, good night, good evening, wherever you are listening in. Um, I am so excited about T4 already, but a little bit slow. So I wish that 5C come into Papua New Guinea. <laughs> we are still on 4C. Like right now, I'm buffering a little bit, but thank God it's, it's kind of staying on for me for a while. Uh, but that is what we have. We have 4G so far. It went from 2, from 2 to 3, and then now we are on 4. So that's what's happening. Um, I am so thrilled to see how I can go through the bank system and just sit down and click the prompts and just get what you want to do, even to top up my um, credits to the phone. Uh, there are prompts there that I just click uh, a prompt number three and it gives me my bank account and I just get my uh, refill from there and put it into the phone and I'm on. So that's what 4G is doing for us here in the country. Um, I am now beginning to see on our local news that people are talking about AI and talking about technology openly, and there are young people now being put on training and stuff like that. So I just wish PNG will pick up one day. So that's what we are going through now. Thank you, Rob. It's, all coming, it's time. coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> it's coming to get you. Be ready. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Exciting. Very, very exciting. And you were very loud. Very, your audio was very good tonight. Uh, and oh, thank we you. Owe, we owe that to 5G as well. So good stuff. Thank good you, band, Rob. Brand, brand with. How about broadband? Uh, band with uh, tonight. And uh, thank you, Elizabeth, for your comments. Appreciate you. Thank you. Let me see if anybody else wants to talk 5G. Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it to me again. <laughs> you're making me have to go around the horn. All right. Um, John just came back. I'm sure he'll say something. Who is that? John who? He hey, Tin Man, what do you think about 5G, buddy? He just refreshed, so I think he's back with it. Okay. Um, wait, oh, there we go. I'm just wondering, can you see me at all now in my uh, with the background? No, we see your background, but we don't see you. Yeah, at all. I, I refreshed. Remember I said, because I looked horrific when I looked at myself. <laughs> well, let me just say that, you know, I'm on, I have 5G on my phone. And uh, so other than having trouble with my background, it's pretty fabulous because uh, I don't think that's a problem with 5G. But uh, at any rate, it's fast. That's that's the, the most thing. Uh, the thing that I've noticed the most is uh, how fast it is. And and uh, mm -hmm. and also it's this now uh, I can see other uh, people buffering. For example, I'll see it on YouTube, but I won't be buffering. But you'll know that the, if it's buffering uh, on the YouTube video, for example, uh, Red had a big problem today uh, with buffering, and and I could be assured that it was I, I knew right away it's it's him it's he's buffering and I have no problem because it is super fast and also um, uh, a lot of great features. I just got today this morning uh, an update on uh, this phone. And uh, and I can tell that some of the little features that they were telling me were were on here now, uh, obviously because of of five G. So it it's uh, it's it's a good thing. It's everything sharper, faster, uh, and again the, the software based uh, features. Uh, it, it's all it's all there. It's already coming, like I say, on on my phone here. And uh, and I'm I'm I think people are going to really appreciate it if they aren't on five G yet or they don't have a, a, a like. You know, my company, T-Mobile, they're 5G. Now, maybe some uh, phone companies aren't using it yet or their network doesn't have it. I'm not sure, but, but T-Mobile is definitely ready and it's it's going. So that's about all I have. And I'll, I'll, I'll see you a little later when it's time to sing. All right, John. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You were loud and clear coming through very nicely. 
And uh, those of you who do have the video on, as you can see, it's absolutely crystal clear. Nobody's fading in. Nobody's fading out. Uh, Greg uh, Hill, in your situation, uh, uh, we can see you and we can see the background. You're just a little bit ghosty, but we do see you. Is that for Greg? That was for Greg, yes. Oh, uh, I don't see him. Yeah, he's up upper right, uh, second in from the oh, right. Greg Hill? Hill. Oh, oh, I thought you meant Greg Ghosty. Hi, oh, Greg, Greg Hill. Hill. Yeah, yes, I'm Ghosty. <laughs> All right, Ghosty. <laughs> nothing nothing but, new. But your audio is spectacular and your background is spectacular, too. Yeah, the spectacular background. I wonder who made that. They did a great job. I, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't, uh, I was uh, resting. Oh, I think it might have been Lynn. Taking a nap probably, right? Yeah, let's see. Try. I'm just having fun. It's kind of fun to make little moving things, animated, you know, images. I think, I think you're doing great. But I want to do gifts if I can find the time. I could put gifts on those too, you know? <laughs> it's so cool, right? Well, actually it is a gift because it oh. has moving parts you, you, these are gifts when they're moving anything moving within a static that picture is uh -huh. a gift really oh yeah, yeah. So, makes sense to me yeah so what's been your experience with 5g uh, is your phone a 5g uh, item well, uh, i i know this much that my wife just yesterday for some reason she said how come all my my text and everything now is all green <laughs> I said, I, I don't have any idea. We both have the Samsung Galaxy S2, S22, whatever, not the Ultra like John has, but the one down from it, we don't need the, we didn't need the Ultra. It, uh, the Ultra is, is better than the one that I have, the S22. I think it's, uh, I can't think to call the darn thing, but uh, I think the Ultra has a little bit better camera because uh, it's a professional camera. Uh, yes, for sure, Greg. Definitely has a fabulous camera, photo camera and video. The one I have is the S22, just the S22, not Ultra, but the, the the one down from the one you have. And it's a great phone and, and everything. Uh, I haven't really noticed anything other than, you know, actually on my d desktop. And I don't know why it would be that. But suddenly I wake up in the morning and I have, I have AI on my desktop in the corner down inside of my toolbar. And I'm, where is this coming from? Well, they just popped it on when they, whenever they want to nowadays. And I was reading a little bit about what's coming up next, and that's 6G that they're saying is going to be a lot faster than 5G, but they haven't really uh, said exactly what it's going to be, the di the difference of the 6G over the 5G. Right now, the 5G is still working, I think, and developing, and uh, we're moving on that. And it's, uh, I think, a, a good thing to have, of course, because it's you know about a lot of, a lot of different things. And... One of them is uh, just that it's uh, basically it's the ca the capabilities. These are advanced capabilities, you know, uh, which they are for like augmented reality and uh, virtual reality, and for ultra high definition and video streaming, and you know the Internet of Things. So uh, it's a it's a good thing, I think. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if if it's a good thing to stand next to a 5G tower, <laughs> but anyway. I don't know much about it. A little tiny bit. That's all right. All Thank you for that. Yeah. Appreciate that, Greg. Yeah. All right, Appreciate now let's guys. go around the horn. Let's see who's got something to say on 5G. Come on, bring it, bring it, bring it. Don't make me do all, almost all the talking, please. All right. <laughs> all right, let's go to DL and Dawn. I knew we could get them rustled up. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Robin Lynn. Uh, hello, everybody on the panel in the chat. Uh, yeah, my uh, understanding of 5G is kind of somewhat limited. Uh, I know the with 5G, you obviously get increased bandwidth, and then there's something called uh, what's called uh, a ghost forming or beam forming. I'm sorry. That's uh, where they um, uh, increase uh, the capability to uh, mute out interference in the signals. Uh, but that's about the extent of my uh, knowledge of it. But uh, I just got a new Galaxy 8 uh, Pro today. And I'll tell you what, uh, it's taken getting some used to, that's for sure, because I had a 3G earlier, and uh, 
I was quite satisfied with it, but I was kind of forced to uh, upgrade today <laughs> because they, they turned my phone off. I couldn't believe it. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm getting used to the new uh, HG uh, as we're speaking. But uh, the technology is obviously improving and advancing at remarkable rates. I mean, uh, I grew up with no technology, basically, other than uh, the uh, dial-up telephone and the uh, party lines. So I was kind of a dinosaur on all that. But uh, I'm pretty quick on my, on my uh, feet, so. What I'll get the hang of it. With their phone, so the phone was no longer supported. Is that why they turned it off? Yes, exactly, because uh, they said it was no longer available in the network, and uh, it was a 3G, and uh, I had no choice but to upgrade. Well, so I was kind of disappointed. They, or they just shut it off, and then you have to figure out what happened. Well, <clears throat> actually, it's the latter, Lynn. They shut it off, and I had to figure out what happened. That's terrible. It, said, it, was, it was terrible. I actually had to go down to the store and go in person. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, that's a heads up for anybody else that's uh, on 3G that's going to go to 5G. Just beware because uh, it could become in your neighborhood. That's crazy. That's for sure. Oh, my. Good to know. That's for sure. What, uh, you, what network are you on? Are you, did you say T-Mobile or one of the others? I'm on Verizon. Verizon, we are too. And um, uh, we have very little buffering, to be honest with you, with the phones. And uh, we have 5G just about all day long, every t you know, every day. So we have no complaints. Uh, are they a little pricey? I think they are uh, for what you get. But uh, you also get what you pay for. So Verizon's okay. Yeah, they're somewhat uh, pricey, as, as you alluded to just a moment ago. But uh like I said, I just got it here uh, just today, so I'm kind of playing with it, getting to know, know it a little bit. But uh, it is uh, it is super fast on the processing. Absolutely, there's no buffering whatsoever. That's good. So there's something to be said for having the uh, the king on the mountain there with the uh, with the phones and with the service. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, excuse, excuse me to break in, but DL, when you when you watch some video, like uh, you could, you know, actually a movie or something, it's pretty pretty fabulous. Uh, uh, the the quality uh, on your new phone will be great. Appreciate that. Right. Well, I'll get into that. that. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you, fellas. We appreciate that. Ah, uh, let's go around the horn. Come on, I know somebody's got some five G isms for us. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Who else wants to talk 5G? Ah, nobody. How nice is this tonight? All right. Hey, Rob. Well, go ahead. I wanted to say something about this. And this is before we had this on here tonight, or before you decided to do this. And, you know, 5G has been coming around for some time. And there are, there are a lot of people that are talking about, you know, that 5G is not good for your health. And this is an, uh, something that I kind of was... A little bit interested in because you know of course we want to keep our health as best we can but uh, when i had did some research on that there's a there are a, a lot of people saying that 5g is not good for your health and i'm not going to get into what they said because i'm not one of these people that live in fear uh, that's just not me uh, but uh there are a lot of people that want to know what what are the bad things about that and i did type into just for the heck of it into uh, GPT chat, chat, you know, chat GPT, and asked that question: What are the bad things about uh, 5G? And it came up with a, a pretty good list of of stuff about 5G. So, you know, technology is great, but at the same time, we really need to be aware of what technology is about and how it can affect us. So, if there are some good things about that. And uh, there are bad things about that. We really need to know about those kind of things anyway to be aware of it. Because as you remember, when they talk about cell phones, they talk about antennas and how good that was not good to hold those things up to your ear. And which, of course, I tried to stay away from that a lot because they're saying it causes uh, different things. And I'm sure technology, you know, they're not going to tell you everything about technology because then they can't sell it. Okay. So... <clears throat> Anyway, just uh, I was just going to say, be aware of what we're we're doing and kind of look into finding out about what, it, what some of the bad features may be about 5G, not trying to be negative. That's not me. I'm a, normally a positive person, but I like to also know the, the side effects of things uh, and what I'm getting myself into. I just wanted to mention that. Somebody might know. 
and have a better right. understanding of me. I haven't spent enough time to really read all about it. There's a lot to read on it, actually. All right. Well, thank you, Greg. Appreciate your input there. Let's go to Fern LaHoy. LaHaye. 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 LaHaye and LaHaye is Fern. Go ahead, Fern. <laughs> thank you, Rob. Now you got it. Uh, LaHaye. And um, yeah, as a responsible tech person now, um, I have a responsibility to know the uh, if there is anything to be watchful about or knowledgeable about. And uh, EAMF is electromagnetic field. And there's all kinds of protection that you can get. And I'm not going to go into it, but that's homework for everybody that's involved in in this kind of technology. You have to have the protection against the electromagnetic field, okay? And there's uh, all kinds of information out there on that. So um, where I moved to, I moved out of a big city to a more remote area in northern Ontario. And I'm happy to find out that the internet here is, it's good. Like I thought I'd be like, you know, in trouble, not strong enough um, connection, but it's good here. So I'm happy. Anyway, that's all I have to say tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Fern. Let's go to Melanie Marcano, also in Canada. Go ahead, Mel. Double Mel in the house. Yeah. Um, thank you, Rob. While um, Greg was talking, similar to what Fern was saying, I was um, looking it up, and it says here, based on the available scientific evidence, again, scientists, uh, um, there are no health risks from exposure to the low levels of radio frequency. And Fern talked about the EMF, same thing, which people are exposed to from cell phones, cell phone towers, antennas, and 5G devices. So they're saying that it's safe. That's what they are saying. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but um, because I know there's a lot of radiation coming from these things, no doubt about it. But I mean, we have to like, um, what's the name? Fred was saying, we exercise caution. I don't like holding these phones in my hand um, often, right? To hold it in the palm of your hand or put some people put it in their chest or, you know, the women, they push it in inside their, you know, their bosom and um, things like that. You, you know, you have to be kind. Where? Well, you can't say that. This is a G-rated show. <laughs> okay. In their bosom. I, I said it the right way, though. That's the scientific way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> May I? May All I, right. May no, I? no, don't be, don't be sorry. I, that kind of excited me to hear the word bosom. So thank you. <laughs> no. I break, in? The, break in. Yeah, you better break in before I break up here. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Uh, well, I, I, I uh, looked it up a bit to see because uh, people are always concerned, and uh, I'm one of those people that always think that when you start to hear things about things that are going to kill us or be dangerous. Well, I always like to find out about it. And what I usually, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to read you a little something. I, I just looked it up as we were sitting here just to get a, a brief thing about it. So maybe we'd like to hear that. According to Canada CA, and I'm not sure what that is, there are no health risks from exposure to the low levels of radio frequency, EMF, RF, EMF, that 5G devices emit. The World Health Organization and FDA declare 5G safe, and thousands of scientific studies have evaluated the safety of RF, EMF. However, some people are concerned that 5G signals can cause cancer and that living, working, or going to school near a cell phone tower might increase the risk of cancer or other health problems. However, expert organizations find no evidence that 5G is harmful to human health. The non-ionizing radiation used by commercial, and it goes on, and there's a whole article about it. But you can see where, what you know, unless we think that, as some people do, that every major uh, a, uh, organization that's in, you know that investigates and deals with these things, like the World Health Organization or FDA, are all out to get us and deal. You know, I'd rather believe that if you use it safely, 
it's not going it, to, you know, it's not going to be that dangerous. Uh, it, like just what I just read here, it, it seems that it isn't so uh, dangerous to have these 5G network phones or anything like that. Anyway. All right, John, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate the research. And let's see who else we've got that wants us. Did I? Wait a minute. I thought I saw Jig. Ona Loney, did you want to say something? Loney. Loney. Not really. <laughs> when I do, I will let you know. Thank you. <laughs> all right. No problem at all. Let's get back into it with 5G and you. And let's hear from some of you who have some experience with 5G, please. And the broadband with being so wrong. We got three people coming in. We have uh, Dido Steak. He was here. Must have got my toy coming in. All right. Um, Gustavo, his internet has been giving him trouble the last few nights that he's been very frustrated. Because he likes being on the panel with us, but hopefully he can make it tonight. Let us see if technology is cooperative with Gustavo. We hope so. All right, all right, all righty. Let's go back to Fern. Hey. Hi. Huh? Um, I just want to say also in Canada here, uh, military have some good information on uh, 5G and EMF, the military, they know what they're talking about. So, you know, I I don't just listen to certain areas. I do the whole gamut, Tay, but uh, check with the military. They know what uh, EMF and everything like that. And I usually pay more attention to their end of uh, how they feel about things. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right. Thank you, Fern. And now, without further ado, back to Don and DL. Go ahead, kids. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate that. I think I agree with uh, Greg Hill when he said uh, that the technology could be a real issue. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. So uh, I agree with Greg completely on that. I've done some reading about it myself, and a lot of these agencies say this and that, and it's safe and all this good stuff, but in my mind, I do my own research. Always best if you can. That's for sure. So good stuff there. Thank you for that uh, tidbit. And let's go to Colombia and Gustavo. Welcome, Gustavo. Lay it on, hey, brother. How you doing, everybody? Long time ago. I was so a big problems with the internet signal, and I hope that this, this day I can stay here. Um... I want to say about this topic um, for more around to one year. The, 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 the high level authority in all these electro, let's say, it, um, how you say, uh, waves uh, worldwide is a woman, but I don't remember her name. And she stated in that in that report that uh, she has to do this information. Uh, shared that information um, and she spoke with all the scientific uh, analysis, technology, technology, etc. that this is totally proved that if we uh, don't take care about our cells in our body then can produce cancer and more in the brain where people who really have their cells close to to hear any call whatever and even she said explain and with all the statistics and all the, the info let's say tests etc showing and she said that she couldn't really say it worldwide uh, through the institution or whatever because a lot of power don't let her to say that, and she decided to do it and share it through WhatsApp. And I saw that, I, I hear her, but I don't remember, I I think that I just lose it or um, take out from, from, the, from the, the WhatsApp. But this is scientific, this is totally proof that uh, we have to take care about ourselves now, uh, phones. Only right. just I want to say that. 
Thank you, Gustavo. We appreciate that very much. Thank you for your comments. Uh, I want to mention we're at 124. That's one, two, and a four. Or uh, four, two, and a one if you want to go backwards. But we're at 124 tonight. Not too shabby for a bunch of on passivians, I uh, mm -hmm. might say. And I was going to say something else, but uh, I got the elbow, so I knew not to. Let's go, Mel. Thank you, Ralph. Um, you know what? It, it's though 5G is quick, it's very super fast, actually. Yet, I believe for some reason, there is going to be some health issues. You know why I said that? Because I'm at work and I'm hardwired and I have the headset on my head. And there are times I feel that type of like a dizziness. Like I feel that, you know, I mean, people who do not use it would not know, but I'm saying, I'm speaking the truth. Sometimes I feel like my head is getting a bit heavy and I've already pointed that out to, to you know, my workplace, you know? So, and I'm not the only one. Other people have experienced the same thing and we work with 5G. So I'm wondering, does it really, because it's hardwired and we have this thing on our head constantly and for years, like me especially, I've been working there for many years. That's why I want to leave. I can't wait. Um, I know it's money, but money doesn't buy health, right? Um, there are times that I feel that way. I feel nauseous, and sometimes I feel like, um, you know, it's different. It just makes me feel like lightheaded, and I know it's to do with the force of the internet and the waves that are coming from there. I, I don't want to be negative, but we have to be truthful about certain things. It can be good, but I'm pretty sure it has its um, side where, you know, you can feel other effects that are not too good for us. I agree okay, with well, um, DL, I agree with Greg, and who else? And uh, on the other hand, I agree with all those who said okay. the good part, because I said good part as well. But yes, if there's something you feel, you have to talk about it. They're pretty things, but they can kill sometimes. I have to say that. Sorry. Can I say that one thing there, Rob? Um, I, if I put myself, I don't know why, I don't know if I have my special body, whatever, but if I take myself and put it more or less close to five, ten centimeters, I, I, I feel the, 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 the waves. And this is like a, a electronic. So I cannot because they start a pain. This is only that I, this is my, my, my personal, let's say, experience. All right. Well, thank you, Gustavo. That's interesting for sure. And I see uh, next up is the one and only Toy Him, Francis Tay's friend. Go ahead, uh, Madam. Francis Tay's inviter. And friend. Okay. All right, inviter, go ahead. Uh oh, maybe we just lost her. Maybe had to Keep, refresh. Yep, refresh and try to come back. And in the meantime, uh, let's go to John Barilla. Okay, I, I would just say since several people seem to come out with uh, something a little bit different than what I was saying, you know, folks, here's the thing. While you were speaking, I went and I, I, I looked at some more uh, data and research i researched a few more things and some <laughs> almost every major reputable source as i could start to read uh the uh, <clears throat> uh information uh, you know again uh go and do your research and not in one place because they can't you know some of the things that you folks are saying is it's like you can't I don't even, i'm not even going to go on but i'm just going to say do research and do it in multiple places because not every everybody can make be, be uh you know making stuff up to make it sound like it's not so dangerous uh so all i'm gonna say is do your research and look up in multiple sources because it it doesn't seem like uh i don't i, I won't say anymore but anyway <laughs> everybody was kind of disagreeing with me and i'm just doing research here so look it up for yourself and you'll you, you know you'll see what what probably from that i agree with you a thousand percent john all right, you got back up. Your wingman took care of that. There you go. 
and I'll also defend myself. John, so what I said is there's two sides to it. There's the good side and there can be the harmful side. So I have to I have to say something because I'm feeling the effects of it, so I have to talk. Yeah. It can be good, it can be bad. I'm not saying it's extremely bad, but there's the side of it that is not too good. I'm pretty sure. Right. All righty. Uh, Toy, you had your hand up. Did you want to speak? Go ahead. If you do. Okay. Uh, I just want to share that I've read about uh, people in different countries. I, I, I can't remember which other countries, but I remember people in India, they burn away the 5G towers. Uh, and also a few other countries because they realize that it is is very very bad for our health and also there were some people in a particular country where they stay very near the 5g towers and they found out recently that they have cancer mm. right so i agree with greg hill and also yeah you know, we, when we do our research, then we have to do from different uh, sources. But also, there are people who, you know, testify of what is actually happening to their bodies. Right? So this is what I want to share. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much. Uh, Toy, let's go to Fern uh, La Jolla. La Jolla. La Jolla. Fern La Jolla, sorry. <laughs> I want to make you a race car driver, I guess. Um, here's something I experienced uh, when I was in the big city. Um, they were upgrading the landlines from the old wiring system to the new Bell fib fiber. And I had the good sense to tell the Bell technician to run the cable wire so that they would actually put the box in my living room instead of my bedroom because I said there's no way I want to be sleeping in the bedroom with the box for the phone in the bedroom like the box that goes to the wall the the main uh, box and uh, so it was worth me uh, telling him to run the extra cable wire so that box would not be in my bedroom because you're sleeping in your bedroom for what six seven hours that's not good to be uh right beside that kind of a box say eh? so just something to be aware of thank you all right thank you uh <laughs> miss fern thank you very much not miss la jolla <laughs> miss la Jolla. thank you very much and uh uh, let's go to uh, Greg Hill. Go ahead, Greg. Then we're going up to uh, DL and Dawn. Go ahead, Greg. <clears throat> Thanks, Rob. Say, uh, I'm not trying. I, I know that I knew when I mentioned that about the health of this, this is going to cause some controversy. <clears throat> but you have to also remember about 5G. <clears throat> and a lot of this technology is driven by money, period. About the rich that want to get richer. About a lot of things like this. And that's part of part of life. I'm not attacking you, John, either, man. But I do think everybody still needs to make sure you just check out what, what you're using. That's all. You can make your own choices. And that's what's good about our life is we're given the opportunity to choose. So you can choose to hold your cell phone in front of your face or your ear if you want to. I choose to put it on speakerphone and talk with it away from my body so I can use my speakerphone. I don't know what, you know, I don't believe, I'm not going to say, uh, let's put it this way. I don't care, really care too much about the WHO and uh, because I know there's evil in there as well as good. So, but with the way the world is today and a lot of things are driven through power, having power. And uh, the things I don't really care for is those kind of people that want to have that power. And they're going to use that money they have to make more. So whether 5G is good for you or not, is you have to 
weigh that yourself. And uh, that's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm not trying to attack anybody or say it's a wrong thing. Well, there's a lot of wrong things. It's kind of like alcohol. If you want to drink alcohol, great. You drink alcohol. You know, I think everything is good in a certain moderation to a degree. But at the same time, I just want you to do a little research, like John was saying, and check it out. Find out what's good and what's bad. You know, they really, there's a lot of controversy over 5G right now. And there's a lot of controversy coming up over 6G. And so we just have to be aware of what we're using and what we're doing and using it for. So look for the, I always try to look for the good and the positive out of anything, if I can. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Greg. We appreciate that. And that's the right attitude, actually. And uh, uh, we want to thank our participants. We've got quite a bit. We have 76 folks in our um, webinar today. We could turn out well, on Thursday night. Uh, you're probably going to ask me how many we got on YouTube. Thir 44 and 76. 37 hmm. now. Yeah, so pretty good. Not a bad turnout, kids. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I'm wondering if that topic was appealing to people. People are kind of curious about 5G technology, you know? And I think that, you know, as we start to develop more and more sophisticated technologies that's just bound to happen, this type of controversy is normal, you know? And it's good that we have a discourse. Hi, Anita. Uh, a very open discourse about it and without judgment on um, either the pro or con side. It's true, as John says, do your research, as Greg says, do your research and not look at one source, but look at multiple sources and then make your decision. And um, yeah, I think with any, any new technology, uh, there's always questions about it, about the legitimacy of it, the safety of it, et cetera. I think it's a normal thing to question it, and uh, it's good just to make your own decision. You know, nobody will uh, differ with you on your decision, right? It's all our own personal choices that we make for our health. All right, we're going back to Papua New Guinea. Let's hear from Elizabeth again. Miss Bade. And it's good to see you, Anita. Hello, Rob. Can you hear me? Yes, we you thank are you. Audible. Okay. Yeah, I I agree with uh, Greg on what he said. I was going to say that, um, you know, lots of these things are money driven, and sometimes, well, here in PNG, of course, people can use ignorance to come in and just, you know, lend a business here, and we don't even know what's going on. Um, and then I've seen. Uh, glasses, um, I think it's anti-radiation eye glasses are being sold around the place that we have been encouraged to buy and wear them uh, when we are using our phones or laptop or whatever. And uh, that goes to show me that maybe there is something very dangerous that we need to look out for. And we've also been cautioned not to live close to the, the uh, the towers, wherever the digital telecom goes and put up their towers, we need to move away from those places. And yet you can see people living right under those areas. And I'm always thinking something is going to happen. Maybe one day somebody will go down with some kind of sickness to wake us up. I really have no idea. But uh, really and truly, we need to really be careful of uh, what is going on because you know, a business firm can just come in and kind of slam some money under the table or whatever and convince the government minister to just come in and do what they want to do without even consulting maybe people like us, you know, the founders who are a little bit, you know, educated in what is going on in technology to give our views on uh, these things to make it customer friendly or something like that. But right now we are paying a lot of money to top up our our phones in order to get into internet and stuff like that so but when you come to 5g and I'm, I'm a little bit scared to use it to be honest <laughs> i think i'm settled with uh, with t4 and uh, i just hope that the country won't take won't go that far but the way they are going i think we will get into that so as rob you said it's coming okay it's coming. 
coming, but is it coming good? <laughs> anyway, I just want to share that uh, people have been cautioned not to live close to the towers. And uh, I bought, I actually bought a pair of glasses and I, I realized that it was really helpful. And we have also been educated to hold the phones away from our body when you are using it. So, and not even putting it into your pockets now. <laughs> and that is also dangerous. So I just want to share that. Thank you, Rob, for allowing me. All right. Thank you, Elizabeth. Appreciate you very much. And ooh, ooh, let's go back to, uh, uh, let's go to Mel, then we'll go to DL. Go ahead, Mel. Thank you, Rob. Guys, I'm holding 5G in my hand. I'm not going to be negative about it. <laughs> But it's a sensitive subject, and I will argue my point. Um, it is good, yet there is something about it that I'm leery of at the same time. I try not to keep that phone in my hand too many times. However, um, think of the people who got burned by cell phones. We all know, we, we all heard about it when they're sleeping, cell phone is near them, and then, you know, they wake up with burns. So what is causing that? It's radiation, isn't it? It's, I don't know how it burned them, but it happened a couple of times. I'm not, I'm not trying to scare anybody because I'm holding one in my hand, and I love what it gives. It's quick for me. I, I love using it, but, I mean, we can't just sit and say, okay, everything is 100%. There, there, there is something coming from it that is the other side that can be harmful, honestly. It's nothing to be negative, but I have to say something because of what I feel, what I know. <laughs> Especially those headsets at work. Yep. And we are using 5G. Yeah. And you know what You're I in the really kitchen, like, you what feel I like it. tonight? Is it a very uh, delicate subject that we're talking about, controversial yeah. as well? But look at how decent people are here in our group respecting one another's opinion, not putting anyone down personally for their opinion. And that's what it's all about. We truly are a Robin family. Lots of love, lots of respect within each, to each other. That's what I noticed tonight. I'm really impressed by that. Thank you all for being respectful of each other's opinions. All right, let's go. Uh, thank you for that, Lynn, and thank you for that, Mel. Let's go back to uh, Dawn and DL, and then we're going to uh, make our way out uh, let's see, to uh, India and then over to Florida. Go ahead, Theo. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Rob. I appreciate that. I just wanted to follow up with what uh, Greg Hill was saying about the double-edged sword. I mean, Melanie has a very legitimate point based on her uh, personal experience, and John has a very legitimate point based on his uh, research. So there's two valid point, point of views there that are both legitimate. And uh, and I agree totally with both of them, to tell you the truth. Yeah. That sounds Thank good you, to man. me. Yeah, that's that's real good, actually. So there's a little bit of, you know, in each uh, in each part that everybody's saying, there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And if we combine all of it together, I think we'll be just fine. Just fine. Okay. Uh, I see you, Fern. I, I, excuse me. I see you, Anita. No problem. I see you. I see your hand. Okay, uh, but first, we need to, we need, well, where was I going now? Fern, Fern, John, Anita. All right, let's go to Anita since you haven't said anything. Anita, go ahead. Anita, I'm mute. Can you okay. hear me? Yeah. Okay, I just want to share something that happened to me about a year and a half ago. I'm when I just got my 5G phone. And I have a titanium plug in the middle of my heart because I have a, had a hole in my heart and they had to plug it up with a titanium plug. Well, I was talking on the phone and I was texting and I was touching it with my right hand and holding it with my left hand. And all of a sudden my right hand started to go numb from my fingertips up towards mm. my elbow like I was having a stroke and it scared me. It scared me really bad. And then it went all the way up to my shoulder. My hand just dropped by the side of me. And I threw the phone on the floor. And the next day, I called up the Department of Federal 
Trade Commission in Washington, D.C. to ask them what on earth happened under that instance. And they said that because I had that titanium plug in and I had both hands on the phone, that it was acting like if you were flying a kite and lightning hit the kite. And they told me never do that because um, it acts like a receptor and it would have gone, if I wouldn't have thrown the phone down, it would have gone through my right hand to my heart and then back to the phone and killed me. That's what they told me in Washington, D.C. So I'm just sharing that with you. Not to scare anybody, because I'm sure you don't all have titanium plugs in your heart. But it really happened to me, and it, it was scary. So all right, well, thank you. Thank you for that, Anita. We appreciate you hopping on board as well. Uh, let's go to Fern, please, next. Fern. Hi. Uh, here's a helpful little tip for people with a 5G phone. If you can get your hands on a secondhand little microwave, Cut the cord because you don't want to end up nuking your 5G phone. But your microwave, you can store your 5G phone in a microwave and it acts like a Faraday cage so the radiation won't come out. So, But cut the cord on it because you wouldn't want to end up nuking your 5G phone accidentally. Not so the way the cost of tip. those suckers are. Heck no. <laughs> I'm with you 100% on that. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for that. And uh, where are we going next, Robbie? This Robbie Boyd. This was a lively discussion. We had first no hands and now. We got hands yeah. so the hands can't yeah. hand up no more. Go ahead, Francis Tay, with no hand up, but your pen, brother. What do you say about 5G, sir? Uh, I think I don't want to get into controversy. <laughs> well, then you can just say good morning if you like, and that'll be good. Right. Yeah, I, I hear all the all the opinion. I was very scared. I was very scared to talk. Say it, Francis. This is a friendly crowd, and they ha yeah. they use rubber bullets only. They do Singapore not use a live nation. ammunition. I just got to say, say it, Francis. And how we respect each other's opinions, so you should be okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Rob. Yeah. I, I think before we worry about 5G, just worry about nuclear energy. Yeah. But that is worse when you your electricity comes from nuclear power. You know? So those countries who have nuclear should have more concern about that than 5G. Uh, whether you you are prepared or not, I think. Uh, you know, in in, when, in my younger days, we were told to stay away from the micro oven, you know, because of radiation. And today, you look at you look at people standing in front of micro microwave and and reading the phone message. You know, like you no, know, the 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 education have gone. You know, and so down down the line now now uh, every technology will have uh, will have a pro and, pros and cons, like. Right? Like mm. some of you have said, yeah? now we are going to 6G. Uh, who knows? Someone will start to have 7G. But I, I would say that this is political uh, uh, motivated yeah? when because 5G was first started by Huawei, yeah? you know, the Chinese technology yeah? before uh, before Qualcomm, the US company, uh, came in. So anything that the, the Chinese uh, invented or innovated is always being attacked by by the the west you know so today we have a uh, nice picture nice uh, in, internet uh, download because of someone has started a new technology you know if they did not start a new technology that nobody want to improve you know somebody improved the technology and and there's always pros and cons huh? so whether it's, it is harmful for for the for the body or not, I think everything is harmful. A knife, like like brother Greg say, a knife is good for cutting for in the kitchen, but it's also can be used for killing people. You know? So you know you don't need to wait for five G to kill you. A knife can kill you anyway. You know, so we we just need to be uh, uh, look at the wide perspective. Huh? Today we have a five G. We stand for the fifth fifth generation wireless uh, cellular. Fifth generation, so there will be sixth generation. 
whether we are wrong or not, it's a second, it's not a story. But today, you you look at the when you go to the airplane, they no longer ask you to off the phone. They let you on the phone. But in the early years, we were told that if you off the phone, uh, you were on the phone, the people on the ground have a mixed signal. You know, the signal will be interrupted, disturbed. So that's why it's banned to use phone on the plane. But why is it today is not banned? Is that is that, that no nobody will disturb the signal? It's not right. It's because of uh, technology that enable human being to uh, to use or uh, to use our our work and to do things faster and easier. You know. So now we have uh, big capacity. You know? Like we we're gonna have uh, internet server which have big capacity download or see. You cannot stay put in either 3G, 4G. You, know? you cannot. You need a faster technology you know? like bandwidth. So therefore, we have this guy from Huawei invented the fast speed uh, technology, and also to uh, enable us to have big capacity. You know? Whether you have a block change uh, coming up, so if there's no 5G or the new technology, there won't be block change. You can't cope. You can't go. And in the last few weeks ago, when brother brother Greg was talking about the super web, that will need six G technology. It's super big, super you know the capacity. So we just need to be open minded. Yes, there will be harmful, uh, uh, no harm, harmful material around. It's already you know you stand in the fridge. The fridge is five G, you know. Uh, when they say 5G means remote, no? there's a capacity to control far away. Uh, anything is far away, like like you know the car remote control, right? So anything is far away, they can control. The fridge can be controlled. The phone uh, can control the house light, all these things because of 5G technology, no? which we we do not know. We only know that the phone has 5G. Everything is 5G today. You know, whether you understand or not, of course it's good for PNG or the Africa because we do not we don't need to go there to to plant five G. Eh? We just need to have somewhere near near the satellite and just give them the the bandwidth or the technology. Thank you. All right, thank you, uh, uh, Sifu Francis, and uh, thanks for being here. I know you've been busy today, so thank you. And again, Hello. thank you for your super sticker, brother. Apologies for absent. <laughs> uh, no apologies uh, necessary. He's a busy, You're a busy guy. Busy, busy bee, yes. All right. Now, mm -hmm. if I've missed anybody, uh, you know, shout it out. Just spit it out if you want to talk. Uh, if not, uh, since I don't see any hands, I'd like to go to uh, Deb for uh, some signing if she's ready. Deb, are you ready? Are you ready, 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 ready? All right, let's go to Deb for a little bit of signing if we can. Everybody keep mute, okay? Mute yourself. Everybody. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, read it earlier, didn't I see your hand up? Go ahead if you want to say something, I'm sorry. I, I, I had a hand raised, but you have not seen me. Oh, I man. see you now, brother. I see you now. Thank you, Rob, for giving me the opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Well, May I proceed? Yes, May I proceed, well, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone, Francis, Milani, and Anita, for uh, giving uh, giving their valuable inputs on today's subject, five five G technology. <coughs> uh, uh, yes, five G. It is really a sensitive subject, and I am to say something on it. Uh, what are the benefits of 5G technology and what is 5G good for? Applications for 5G include faster and more efficient communication in factories and between people. You know, 5G supports increased device density, enabling a massive number of connected devices in given areas, which is essential for the increasing number of connected devices in smart cities and industrial applications too. 5G is definitely a speed revolution. Data transfer speed will be 10 times faster than the current LTE networks that, I, that we use in mobile systems. You know, the IoT systems, the performance of an IoT system depend on 
its ability to communicate quickly with other devices and applications. That is a great advantage of 5G. There are many universal benefits on 5G. More than just smartphones will benefit from it will benefit from the speed boost. IoT devices in healthcare and industrial settings can also take advantage of it. The increased speed of 5G catalyzes innovation in various sectors, whether optimizing industrial process or transmitting vital health information. Now, what are the use cases of 5G IoT? Number one, smart city. Smart cities, 5G is driving force behind smart cities in taking quality of life for the urban to the next level. Intelligent traffic management system, real-time data collection, and smart lighting system. Smart lighting uh, is efficient in adaptive lighting that is based on current conditions. And uh, number two, industrial IoT. 5G revolutions, industrial IoT, and first are smart factories and advanced industrial automation, monitoring of equipment health, Production process optimization, seamless connectivity enables data-driven decision-making for optimal production efficiency. Number three, supply chain management. 5G provides real-time tracking and monitoring of capabilities for uh, supply chain management. These are the uh, advantages of IoT. IoT expands its wings. It brings opportunities and challenges for people. And next, I move to want to I want to move for the disadvantages of 5G. 5G has strong microwave radiation that Francis just said that could be harmful for the living beings effects on our skin even skin disease may cause also adverse effect on trees causes less food production and uh, uh, sometimes uh, the coconut trees I, we have seen coconut trees get uh, dried and it is already finished by the radiation strong radiation of mobile waves that's all i wanted to say for today Thank you. Bro. All right. Thank you, Sweetjit. Sorry I missed your hand earlier, but I remembered seeing it uh, finally. So thank you for no. being an active participant as always. Welcome, sir. All right. All right. Are we ready for Deb? Anybody else in the talk? No. I scrolled through the list, didn't see any hands just yet. Let's go to Miss Deb Moore. Okay, everybody keep mute. And we are ready. Deb. Deb is going to be ready, 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 ready. Deb will be teaching us. You want to say hello to Biswajit. Hello, Biswajit. Welcome to our show. From and India? Yes. All right, Mr. Roy. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, yeah, sir. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Again, Dilash Roy. Welcome, Dilash. One, let's see, 80. Uh, oh my goodness, we got 120. One, two, zero. Thank you, everybody. 85 in our chat right now. 85 in the, in the, in the O Connect. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think it's 5G. I think people like that topic. Not too shabby, and I must say, I'll point to you, that was your topic. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We came across it together. Okay. All right, together again. All right, let's go now to Miss Deb Moore for some signs. Thank you, Deb. Okay, let's go to the side view. For, uh, we'll put her in the main view. Okay, go for it, Deb. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm up for biting here. <laughs> How are you all today? Better? Wow, I guess we're going in the future. Generation 5G technology. G, generation. One generation after another. 5G technology. Middle finger, technology. Remember from before. So, generation. 5G technology has a lot of speed, more fast, it's a lot of speed, and it's clear, sharp, clear. Broadband, broad, broad, B A N D. Broad, B A N D, broadband. Bandwidth, <laughs> B A N 
the width. It's almost the same except it's the opposite. They have self-drive cars with automatic cars, so self-drive cars. Self-drive cars, but it's automatic. Mobile, to hold your cell phone in your hand. Mobile. Video streaming. Video streaming. Like for YouTube, watch, LinkedIn, all that. Now we've been talking about health issues. Health issues or issues of anything. Uh, we were talking about microwave. We're sitting on there. Microwave contains a lot of radiation. Radiation, one up and one down, radiation. A lot of people can get cancer. Nobody wants to hear it, but it happens. You can spell C-A-N-C-E-R or cancer. Eat up. Eat up. It's like a Pac-Man almost. Eat up cancer. Blue ray glasses, which I hope to get in the future too. I'm watching on the computer too much. <laughs> blue, like I think you learned from the still, blue B. I'm just way back and forth. Ray R A Y glasses. I hope that helps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Now we've had some 5D. We've had some uh, 2024 signing. I think it's time we have a song. What do you think, Miss Nakamoto? Okay, Pedro's coming. All right, Pedro Jose Estrada Salada. All right. Now, and um, All right. nice the participation tonight. It was very, very active discussion. Chat was lit tonight. Yeah, Thank you, everybody. Yeah. We're pleased and proud of that. Brings out the best in all of us. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, John, give me one second. Are we ready for John? Yeah, I think so. All right. If you say so, you're the boss. <laughs> all right, Johnny, bring it. All righty. <laughs> As I said earlier, I wasn't going to say much, and I, I, I seem to have raised most of the controversy, I think. And I wasn't being totally pro 5G. I'm just saying that I looked at multiple sources and that the, uh, uh, the evidence so far shows that the amount of the levels of the electromagnetic fields that are released by these things at this point doesn't show that it's that dangerous or, or you know that's all i was saying okay i'm not i wasn't trying to take that side but i seem to be the only one that uh mentioned anything positive about it so that's that's, that's why i say that and i did say i did say to everybody do your own research and multiple sources because i did look at multiple sources and you'll see uh various things but that's why i say just to multiple sources. Now let's get out of this <laughs> and let's start thinking about a song. Okay. And tonight, now last night I actually changed up uh, because it was Carmela's birthday and um, uh, and changed my, uh, my choice to celebration because I thought that would be fun. So I'm going to go back to what I was going to do last night. And it's a song by James Taylor who, again, I say way too often, one of my favorites, so I, you know, that's why I don't pick favorites, because I, lo I love this guy's music. I love the way he sings. I just love everything about uh, uh, the way he, he performs over the years. Uh, and this is, uh, actually, I believe this is a Carole King song. I'm not even sure. Uh, it's either, either he wrote it or Carole King. I, I could look it up really quickly, but uh, whatever it is, I really like it. It's You've Got a Friend uh, by James Taylor. 
So that's what I'm going to do right now. Y'all got a friend, even if I took the other side. Or no, I didn't take the other side. Whoa, shut up, John. I didn't take the other side, but I feel like I was the one everybody's going like, well, anyway, here we go with you got a friend. All right, y'all. Oh, got to turn the sound on first, John. Hold on. I'm going to start that over again. Got my sound turned off. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got a friend. Thank you. Yeah, celebrate. You've got a friend. Very nice, John. Very nice. Well, I think it may be time to go one more time around the room. Let's go to Dawn and DL. No one. Whoops. Oh, I was speaking. Uh, Dawn was. Oh. Okay, go. I, I got it. I'm not very coordinated. <laughs> no, great song. Thanks, John. Um, I wondered how's, if Carmela's okay. Just didn't see her on tonight. Maybe she just had a very busy day. Yeah, I don't know. I just yeah. wondered. Yeah, if anybody yeah. talked to her today, I know her birthday was yesterday. So. Probably still celebrating. Camilla is okay. She's yeah. fine. She's fine, Don. Okay. All right. Just wondering. Okay. I reach out to her tonight. Thank you, Melanie. You're welcome. Well, all righty. What a night we had tonight, huh, Lynn? Woo hoo, doggies. <laughs> yeah. We like it when it uh, goes as smooth as it. It was like pulling teeth that first half hour, though. I got to admit, had to warm you guys up a little, light that fire, but uh, you lit it under yourself and uh, did us all proud. So thank you. Thank you for, for everything everybody contributed tonight. Everybody from uh, Michael Chatta to Lynn to uh, all of you on the panel and everybody in the chat. The chat is blowing up. There's... Uh, 435 chats, in, uh, community, uh, uh, comments on uh, YouTube. And let me see what we got here. Just out of curiosity, it doesn't give me the total. Why not? I thought it gave me the total. Where's the what? Uh, comments in the chat. Uh, since, it, since you last checked it, it will tell you. If you oh. check it, it'll just show you what, how many uh, have come after you. Anyway, wow, what a night. What a grand night. Uh, Lynn's going to want to take at least one picture, maybe four. So if you can stand by one, we'll go ahead and take a picture. Hopefully just two. Hopefully. All right. Good to see everybody. Uh, gee whiz. Let's take a picture and then we'll do our salutes. Go ahead. All right. So let's give people a chance to come to the camera. Let them know him. All right, Ms. Wajit, uh, please, Mr. Roy, come to the camera if you like. And uh, Guyana, where are you, brother? Come on in from Brooklyn. And oh yeah, Loni. Anybody want to come in? Come on in, Elizabeth. Come on in, Elizabeth. Other people want to come in. There's Pedro. Pedro. And we have Mohammed Ashraf. Let's let him come in first. Alright. Hello, Auntie Lynn. Excuse yes, me, uh, Rob. Uh, yes. Can you can you make the Chris number two? As the second host, I'm just going to complete my uh, beta testing live streaming on my channel. I did. You're a second host. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. All right. Let's get after it with a picture. Yeah, there you go, Fern. Pedro's here. He might want to say a few words. Oh, go ahead, Pedro. You got something for us? Talk about 5G, brother. What uh, are you so have, happy about? He's so cute when he's No, no, I, I just have a, a, a warm uh, hello to everyone. Uh, I miss the whole show. I, I just came back from, from a religious meeting, and I didn't want to miss the picture. So now I came right, for, right at the picture. <laughs> no, I don't have anything to say. Uh, a great innovation. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't research anything or... But uh, I appreciate uh, that you let me come on and I just say hi. Thank you. Very 
You're welcome. We're glad you're here. And Armin wants to be in the picture because he's coming in right now. Armin, come on down, brother. <laughs> turn your camera on. And anybody else? The last word, turn your camera on, son. Bring it. <laughs> Hey, Perkins yeah, Tree Frogs, Robin Lynn. How all you doing right, here, Mel? All right, all right, you're a tree frogger. Elizabeth, <laughs> Bobby, I don't know if your internet is strong enough. Melanie, you know you're off camera. I don't know if you're aware of it, but your camera's not on. I can see her. Yeah. I can see myself. Uh, oh. I don't know. Okay, I will refresh. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. I'm on, Lynn. Um, Mary, does everybody see Elizabeth? You see her camera? I don't see Elizabeth. If you see Elizabeth, raise your hand. I don't think people see you. Oh, Francis sees Elizabeth. Okay, I think the majority of us don't see you. You want to refresh, Elizabeth? Go for it. Where is she still here? Yes, her uh, audio is uh, off and her camera's on, but no, no video. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Biswa Jit is here with his camera on. All right, hey, Biswa hey, Jit. Hey. In the house, namaste. brother. Namaste. Namaste. Namaskar. Nice to have you with us. Thank you for coming to the panel. All right, let's get a picture. All right. I think I got everybody. All right, here we go. So what are we going to do? You're going to do I love you? I love you. This is the handshake. Do this. Copy me. Handshake. Yeah, good job. This widget even knows how to do that. Very good. Right? One, two, three. I'll take the picture now. Okay. All right, all right. Go. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I cannot because um, uh, Pedro wasn't ready. Uh, we we'll do it again. We we'll do it for you, Pedro, one more time. Here we go. Let's let him come up. Let go a little further from the camera. Too close to camera. Go behind, further back. Further back. You're too close to the camera like this. All right. Go all back. Right. No, let him adjust. A little bit further back from the camera. Farther back. Pedro, go back. Pedro, he's talking to you, not Armand. Armand's going 10 miles back from his camera, but even Pedro, get back. <laughs> Pedro, Pedro, go back. Go backwards, Pedro. I was horsing around there, John. There, I'm getting <laughs> your hand up by your face, by your face. <laughs> he's funny, bitch. Okay, that's right, let's it. Let's go. Let's get after it. Oh, honey, you don't have patience. Okay, one, two, three. Smile and say, I love you. Love you. Who loves you? Who? Who? Thank you. you got All right. To Thank you, everybody. Gonna be. And the picture will be in the uh, Roblin live chat. Go there, okay. Messenger. Flee. Uh, tap, 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 tap. Let me finish. And uh, salute to everybody out here, but especially to all active duty military. Salute to all reservists. Salute to all veterans. Salute to all first responders, and you know it, it's coming. Salute to every one of you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Adios. Okay, let me save the chat. Oh, she's going to save the chat now. All right. Let's unmute and everybody say bye bye. Thanks to everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. everybody. Everybody, good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. It's morning. 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 Bye. 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 Good night, um, Francis. Okay.
Hi, on the count of three. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mel. Bye. Good morning. Bye. 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 Bye.